Good evening, and welcome to the Way of the Cross at St. Peter's with Eucharist. For those of you who are watching online, both live on Facebook, but also after the fact on YouTube, we're going to be making a circuit of a place where the cameras don't read, but you'll be able to hear us as we make our approaches to each of the stations, as we make our way around the church. And of course, we'll be here at the high altar and the main altar for the Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We move together to the first station. We adore you, O oh, sorry, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council held a consultation, and they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And they all condemned him and said, He deserves to die. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. Then he handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God did not spare his own son. He delivered him up for us all. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy, holy and mighty, mighty holy, holy immortal Lord, one, have, have mercy upon us. sentenced him to die? Were you there when they sentenced him to die? Sometimes it causes me to Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of the skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before his sharers is, is mute. So he opened not his mouth. Worthy is the Lord, lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. 
for the transgressions of my people was he strengthened. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. us. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of our holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God as a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Let us pray. O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of, our fra of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. To what can I liken you? To what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? 
What likeness can I use to comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. A sword will pierce your own soul also. And, and fill your heart with bitter pain. pain. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that in the passion of your Son a sword of grief should pierce the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, mercifully grant that your Church, having shared with her in his passion, may be made worthy to share in the joys of his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy, Holy God. God. Holy, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal, immortal one, have mercy on us. is laid on Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who was coming in from the country and laid on him the cross to carry and behind Jesus. If anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take off his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me, not be my disciple. let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, Bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage, they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy, for the love of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy God, holy, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal Lord, one, have, have mercy, mercy upon, upon us. us.
a woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Restore us, O Lord, God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy God, holy, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. But as for me, I am a worm and no man. Scorned by all and despised by the people. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us.
Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There followed after Jesus a great multitude of the people, and among them were women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Let us pray. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty, and to repent and forsake them, that by your pardoning grace, the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. us. I am the man who has seen affliction under the rod of this, his wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. He has besieged me and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me dwell in the darkness like the dead of long ago. <clears throat> Though I call and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. Remember, O oh Lord, my affliction and my bitterness, the wormwood and the gall. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And like a sheep that before his shears is mute, so he opened not his mouth. Let us pray. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us.
Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink, mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill the scripture which says, they divided my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. They gave me gall to eat. And when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon. Give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of our holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came down to the place which is called the skull, that they crucified him. And with him, they crucified two criminals, one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus between them. And the scripture was fulfilled which says he was numbered with the transgressors. They pierced my hands and my feet. They Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us.
Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the, the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And then crying with a loud voice, he said, Father, in your hands I commend my spirit. And he bowed his head and handed over his spirit. Christ for us became obedient unto death. Even death on the cross. Let us pray. O oh God, for, our, for who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, Holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. The body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All you who pass by, behold, and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping, my soul is in tumult. My heart is poured out in grief because of the downfall of my people. Do not call me Naomi, which means pleasant. Call me Mara, which means bitter, for the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. Her tears run down her cheeks, and she has none to comfort her. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death, you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us.
When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea. Oh. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Sorry. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have, you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not abandon me to the grave. Nor let your holy one see corruption. Let us pray. O God, your blessed Son was laid in a tomb in a garden and rested on the Sabbath day. Grant that we who have been buried with him in the waters of baptism may find our perfect rest in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. Savior of the world, by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save us and help us. We humbly beseech you, Lord. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. To Christ, our Lord, who loves us and washed us in his own blood and made us a kingdom of priests to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Just a couple of brief announcements. First, welcome home to St. Peter's. This has been a long time coming for us. You can sit, yeah, please. Um, this has been a long time coming for us. We are restored to a tradition and to a place that we have been away from for three years. And it is a blessing to be back here and walking the way of the cross together on this night of stations. We're moving to the Liturgy of the Table now. All are welcome to receive. Also, um, we are hoping to be able to hold the night watch over the reserve sacrament here in the church from Thursday night into Good Friday morning, but we lack two hours yet, and they're not great ones. They're 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., 
So if you are feeling so moved. We're doing two o'clock. Okay. See, there you go. I, I should have a bidding contest because Buddy was ready to go too. He's, are you for good for O-Dark o -dark 600? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you. I appreciate that. You guys are great. I'm so glad as well to restore the night watch. We are blessed. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for our sins he was lifted high upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world to himself, and by his suffering and death he became the source of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn, to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin, and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the Father, the, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, 
which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ Christ has died, Christ Christ is risen, risen. Christ Christ will will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now in the language of our hearts, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come. thy Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Life is short, and we do not have too much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel with us. So be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon, with, be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Well done.